Welcome to the Prepper Almanac. Thank you for joining us today. Your presence here is deeply appreciated. In today's video, we are delving into the world of survival strategies in disaster situations. Have you ever considered the multitude of uses for a seemingly simple item like alcohol? It's not just a drink, there's more to it. Let's take a moment to discuss this in the video. In the face of adversity, it's often the unappreciated little things that can make a colossal difference. One such unsung hero is alcohol. While most people preparing for disaster scenarios concentrate on stockpiling essentials like food, water, ammunition, and medical supplies, alcohol with its numerous uses can indeed be a game changer. If you find any value in today's video, please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. We truly appreciate it. Feel free to share this video with others. Make sure you watch the video till the end and let us know your thoughts about the video in the comment section below. First and foremost, alcohol serves as a natural disinfectant. The ethanol present in alcohol is potent enough to kill bacteria around wounds. But remember, it can also destroy cell tissue, so use it judiciously. The best type of alcohol for this purpose is grain alcohol. Alcohol can also be used to disinfect medical equipment. Scalpels, thermometers, and other tools can be fully submerged in alcohol for thorough sterilization. It can also be used to disinfect hands when gloves are not available. Next, alcohol can be used to disinfect surfaces. Whether it's a surface for medical equipment or for handling food, spraying alcohol and wiping it down can make it safe to use. This will be very important in a survival situation or during the collapse. Did you know that alcohol can also remove odors? Clear odorless vodka is perfect for this. It can be sprayed in small rooms or on clothing to eliminate foul smells. In addition, alcohol can serve as a deodorizer. By displacing moisture, it can prevent bacteria growth in places like under your arms or between your toes, keeping you smelling fresh. Not a high priority use case for a disaster situation, but I thought I would add this one in. Alcohol can also prove handy in starting a fire. This can be very important for a prepper. A piece of cloth or tinder soaked in an alcohol-based solution can help kindle a fire, even in cold and wet weather conditions. Here's a fun fact. You can cook an egg with alcohol. Pour some into a glass, drop an egg into it, wait for an hour, and voila, the egg is cooked. Try it for fun. Alcohol can also be used to clean guns when traditional cleaning oils run out. Your firearms need proper care and alcohol can be a reliable alternative in a long-term disaster situation. Suffering from mouth pain? Swishing some vodka around in your mouth can provide immediate short-term relief for any pain you have from your teeth or gums. And alcohol can be used to maintain oral hygiene. Swishing alcohol in your mouth for about 30 seconds can kill bacteria around your gums and teeth. This one applies mostly to hand sanitizer, but other solutions and products that contain alcohol in them also work. If you ever need to remove some glue, such as the glue that remains after removing sticky labels, applying a small amount of alcohol will make it easier to come off. A small lamp can provide heat and a place to cook without having to manage a bigger fire. But a small makeshift lamp or candle will require fuel just like any other fire, and adding small amounts of alcohol at a time is a great way to keep that lamp going. For this, you can't just use regular liquor. You could try some 100-proof vodka, but you're better off using ethanol or denatured alcohol. This is really only for people who love messing with their camp stoves, but may be necessary in a disaster situation. A skin rash from poison ivy is no fun, plain and simple. And it's more serious when you don't have access to traditional medical supplies. Applying alcohol to the rash won't make it go away, but it does relieve much of the pain. Mosquitoes will be everywhere once mosquito control services stop in a disaster situation, and other types of bugs will breed fast due to unsanitary conditions that come about when garbage trucks stop rolling. Apply some alcohol to the bug bite for quick relief. Stop bugs from biting you in the first place. Alcohol mixed with olive oil can be rubbed on the skin to serve as a natural repellent to mosquitoes and other insects. This one obviously won't matter to some people, but alcohol can kill unwanted weeds to get ready for your survival garden. Mold needs moisture to live, but alcohol displaces water and causes it to quickly evaporate. When the mold dries up, it will die. This might not sound very important, but mold can be very bad for your health. In some cases, it can be deadly. When medical treatment will be harder to come by in a disaster situation, it's important to minimize risks such as mold. A simple cough may start out innocently enough, but if it progresses far enough, it will become not only annoying but also bad for your health. And who knows what a simple cough can develop into if you don't have the appropriate medical supplies in a disaster situation. 
The steam from a warm alcoholic drink can also dilate the blood vessels in your nose and clear out the mucus. Plus, it will soothe the sore throat and help you get to sleep. This will be very important in a disaster situation. You don't want any cold or ailment to get worse when medical supplies are in short supply, and you always want to get plenty of rest when feasible. This is a very important use case on this list. Alcohol will be in high demand after a disaster scenario, so having a large stockpile will give you an advantage in a potential trade. You might be surprised what some people will be willing to give you in exchange for a few bottles of beer, wine or liquor. You can remove frost from a car's windshield in the winter simply by spraying or wiping alcohol on it and then wiping it away. This will be very important in a disaster situation when you need to move quickly. Warm water and alcohol mixed equally together makes for an effective fungus eliminator, especially on the feet and in the ears. It is important to stop fungus before it gets worse, especially when limited medical capability in a disaster situation. If you want to keep your jewelry or precious metals clean, soak them in rubbing alcohol and wipe them dry with a clean cloth. This may be important in case you need to barter jewelry for additional items in an apocalypse situation. Some people will have a hard time relaxing after a disaster scenario. Even if they're safe and well-fed, just thinking about what's happening out there can make people very stressed out. Sipping some scotch or whiskey with a little bit of water can help them relax. This can also create some camaraderie with others as you strategize in a disaster situation. In conclusion, alcohol is a versatile item that can be used in numerous ways in a disaster scenario. From disinfecting wounds and equipment to deodorizing and starting fires, alcohol can prove to be an invaluable addition to your survival kit. As we draw closer to the end of this insightful video, we would like to hear from you. Yes, you, our invaluable viewer. Got any burning questions or perhaps a topic you'd like us to delve into in the future? Feel free to drop them in the comments section below. We love hearing from our community and getting video suggestions from you all. What do you think about today's episode? Was it helpful? Did you learn something new about the versatility of alcohol in disaster situations? Your feedback is always appreciated so don't hesitate to share your thoughts. If you found this video useful, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the Prepper Almanac for more enlightening content about prepping. Feel free to share this video with others who might have a passion for prepping or are just curious about it. As we wrap up, YouTube's algorithm based on your viewing history has a video recommendation for you. You'll find it at the top left-hand corner of your screen. Check it out and continue your prepping education. Thank you for tuning in to the Prepper Almanac. Until next time, stay prepared.